Huh. Audience left starved as creator refuses to upload content. Hmm. That's right, Fossil Fridays are back. For this week, I wanted to start with a bit of a brief anatomy lesson. When I was a kid, I always thought that the biggest hole in a dinosaur's skull was where the eye went. Obviously, this would lead to some very silly looking reconstruction, so something definitely wasn't right here. This opening, which is usually the largest opening on the skulls of theropods such as Tyrannosaurus, is called the antorbital fenestra, or the window before the orbit, the eye socket. As mammals, we don't have an antorbital fenestra, so most of us are unfamiliar with its function. These cavities would contain large chambers called paranasal sinuses, which were used for smelling and for cooling the brain. This was especially important to theropods, which were extremely active predators with high metabolisms. So next time you're at a museum and go, huh, what's that big hole in the middle of that thing's skull? 